Cooking Cancer Cycle TV in association with Mac. Well, actually, it's not anymore Macri's Gym Mar Bar. It's MTK Global. But anyway, anyway, we'll that's not your concern anyway. Cut. Cut. Um, no, we're good, we're good. <laughs> with me, I've got the Mitchell Brothers. The Mitchell, the Mitchell Brothers. Brothers. It's the Smith oh. Brothers. No, but well, Mitchell no. Brothers sounds better, doesn't it? We're the South one. Oh, the Smith Brothers. The Mitchell Brothers. I don't like the Mitchell Brothers, because then it's... Why? What about me? Because you are like another Mitchell, wouldn't we, you? We, we, <laughs> 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 Even though you're bigger than him. Is that a good thing, or...? I kept them under my wing. <laughs> Mitchell Smith, Jez Smith, how are you? All good. All good? Yeah. Well, after you, mate. You know, I'm alright. The light's a bit moody. I'm going to come round here. That's it. That's a bit better. I'll look better looking over this side. A little bit. Get over a little bit. Right. It looks like your remix is on, judging by what we saw on uh, the screen. Yeah. For the yeah, copper box. Yeah. Um, I'm, well, I heard that they were, I heard that they were talking about it. Um, it's something I need to get off my chest. Um, it's a win that I need to uh, to push me on. So, and obviously for my own head, um, I know where I went wrong, and uh, I'm looking forward to putting it right. Um, I'm training really hard, and uh, I'm living right. I know this, you know, I. Kind of bores me to keep going on about it, but I haven't done in the past, as, as people have seen. And um, I'm just looking forward to doing it all right. And then, and then I feel like um, I'm being put like under prospects again. You know, I'm not a prospect, and you know? I've been a pro five years. You know, um, I was I was ranked number three in the world at one point. You know, with the WBO, and uh, there was talks of fighting fighting for world title eliminators, etc. Whether I was ready for it, I, I, you know, I don't know. But I'm being put under prospects and that again, and I'm not. You know, so I just want to just get this win out my way, and then push on to these big fights. You know, talking about the, like Josh Warrington that signed with Frank. Warren now, you know, it's, it's an easy fight to be made, I'm a super featherweight, he's a featherweight, but we can always talk about that, we can always, you know, talk about negotiating, coming down your weight, maybe a catch weight, you never know, but they're the sort of fights I want, you know, I want to, I want to be in with these big names now, there's bigger, there's, bigger, there's bigger fish in our pond now, and I want to be up there, I don't want to be sat underneath with, with all these prospects, no disrespect, but you know, there's kids on there that haven't even boxed once and they're talking about world titles, you know, so... Yeah, there we go. That's me, basically. I'm having a little rant. That's all right. You can always have a rant on here. Jez, <laughs> yeah. um, what's the plan for you, 2017, uh, ideally? Well, the plan is to try to get a ring. Right in the middle of interview. All right, no one's getting changed at this minute. I can do two minutes and be done. Is that all right? Uh, the, the plan is the Jez? rematch, I suppose, with uh, Macaulay McGowan. Um, <laughs> Just wait at Which the moment. It was a great fight, first of all. Yeah, well, it was a great fight. Yeah, you know, um, a lot of people obviously probably criticising me from that fight. You know, the way that I gassed quite quickly. You know, felt like uh, from my side of it, it wasn't me 100%. You know, I did gas up to a couple of rounds. I had to dig deep in that fight. But the plans are now to get the rematch on, beat him, and move on. Um, have you got a date when you'll be out for the first um, time in 2017? No, I heard there's obviously a, a show in Manchester on April 8th. So makes sense. It makes sense for me to be on that and, yeah. you know, I'll beat him in his hometown. Okay. Your gym is thriving awesome. more than ever. I mean, I see that picture the other day, it was like, whoa, who's who in there? Yeah, it's just full of talent. Um, it's exciting times for Adam Booth. Um, I know there's me, Billy Joe, Andy Lee, Jess Smith, Lucian Reed, Charlie Edwards, Ryan Burnett, Abraham. I don't know his second name. Um, but we, it's it's a it's a gym full of potential world champions and world champions and former world champions. And uh, it's nice because we're all on the same path. And for myself especially, like. Um, I've not been around fighters like that, you know. It's watching them dedicate their life, and watching them train. It shows me what I need to do. I've got the talent. I know. I've, the easy part for me is getting in there fighting. The hard part for me is just keeping me grounded. And, uh, this year is what I'm, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my head down, and uh, the results will show, you know. Um, the gym's buzzing. We're all training so hard. We push each other day in, day out, and uh, yeah, I think the whole stable will do really well this year. Would you a visit there very soon? Yeah, get yourself down here because we oh. miss bullying you. I know, I miss <laughs> being bullied as well, so uh, we'll, we'll make it work. I'll try and come over here next week. Yeah, uh, do so, I'll yeah. I'll speak to Adam tonight. All right, well, listen. Thank you for your time, Coach. Smith yeah. Brothers, not the Mitchell oh. Brothers. Yeah, I prefer that. Sound.
one of the Jez brothers. Alright, okay. Jez, what name is that? All right, my mum was drunk when she named you. On that note, I'm out. Cheers, boys.